Joyce, who needs uh, some career advice. Yes. That's Hi, me. Joyce. Okay, well, I'm a debt collector, and I make phone calls, and they just start screaming at me. And they just go on and on about how it's my fault they didn't pay their bill. Do you have any ideas on, like, how I can get them to stop and let me talk? Mm-mm. <laughs> mm -mm. No. Oh, because I've been waiting to meet one of y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. You! Oh, you want to know why don't nobody like you? You want me to share that with you? Let me, oh, let me help you understand something. First of all, when you call... Messenger. Excuse me? I'm just the messenger. Oh, no, but you talk to people like it's your money. <laughs> see, see, that's what the people... I don't! That's what the people are upset that. about. Yes, you do. You all do it. You're trained that way. You talk... I don't owe you money. I owe Sears money. <laughs> now, if Mr. Sears or Miss Roebuck call my house... <laughs> then I'll be a little bit more polite. But when you call, when you gonna make a payment? What's your, what's your damn business? <laughs> and then you call at all hours of the night now. No. See, y'all don't restrict it from Figure. 8 to 4. You call at dinner and you try to trick us. I've been, oh, I've been broke many years. <laughs> just, matter matter of fact, I have more experience at poverty than I do having something. So trust me, I done dealt with y'all. You think you're real slick. Hello, Mr. Harvey. Soon as I hear Mr. Harvey, you can't be a friend of mine. <laughs> See, all the truth. Oh, <laughs> no, I can't help you. No. Well, People are going to continue to be rude to you. Okay. It's, it's like, what else would you like? Anything else? <laughs> Well, I like to say that I'm very polite when I speak to them. I don't attack. No, well... I'm very polite. No, 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 no. You're coming after us because you call our house. <laughs> well, would you... You call our job. How, how else can I remind you and let you know about past due balance? No, no. You don't <laughs> remind us. Oh, no, no. You all use little terms like, so when are you going to have a... Bit? Do you have a plan of payment? Oh, yeah, I got one. You want to hear? I take all my creditors and I write their name on a piece of paper. I take each piece of paper and I put it in the hat. At the beginning of the month, I shake up the hat. <laughs> I reach in and pull your name out. You're the lucky person that gets paid today. <laughs> now, If you keep calling here, your name ain't going in the hat. Hi, Steve. Huh? I just graduated from college, and I got my dream, first dream job at a marketing firm. Okay. I'm so excited, but I just have one worry. I, when, I, when I was in school, people always made fun of me for being the teacher's pet, and because I just wanted to make everyone happy, and I was just eager to learn. So my question for you is, how do I make it to the top without making enemies? Because I don't want my coworkers thinking the same. Well, other people don't get you to the top. You get to the top. You can't brown nose your way to the top. And you can't worry about who gonna hate you for doing a good job. You're, this real life now, this ain't school. You got to excel at something so you can make the most money you can make. You, you ain't never, you, you ever in your, have you ever said kiss my ass? <laughs> You make everything How many of y'all in here so has never better. told a person that in your life? Ain't ever told a person in your life, kiss your ass. Anybody never said it? One, two, you've never said it? I'm, who's, who's never told a person? Never. Ma'am, you've never told a person? You've never? There's a lot of people in here who've never told people that. That's unbelievable to me. You make everything sound so much better, easier. To... Yeah, kiss my ass, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. And I'm telling you something right there. It's so refreshing. It's just refreshing. It's free. You can't say it. You have to say it where it matters to me. Yeah. You know, can't be quick. Kiss my ass. It ain't gonna, it's not gonna stick. I would be that person to say it so low. Just, hey, kiss no, my ass. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> See what they mean? 
That's it. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Such a nice little lady. Listen to me. Getting people out your business, it takes, see, see you can't do, see, see, just say, say, show me how you say it like you did up there. Just say, just, just try. Kiss my ass. <laughs> See, did anybody feel that? No. See, listen to me. Let me give you a lesson on how to do it. Before you say it, make sure they're looking right at you. Eye contact, because they have to know who you're directing this to. <laughs> and then when you say it, right before you say it, just take a breath. <sighs> try it, try it. <sighs> then take a deep one, because you're going to need all that. <laughs> See, this is, just, this is just to clear the air. This, let, this lets them know something about to go down. See, watch it. I'm on need for you. Let's do a step. That's how I want you to say. I'm on need for you. Let me... I'm on need for you. No, yeah, a little bit like I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Yeah, this ain't time for proper grammar. No, that's all, that's all I'm going to need for you. And put it in your mouth and just say, I'm on, I'm on. See, I'm on, I'm on, let them know the oh, oh, oh. See, look, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on need you. I'm on need you. No, no. No, no. Not you, chew, chew. Chew, chew, chew. All this go together. I'm on need you. Now you got everybody's attention. I'm on need you. And everybody in here. <laughs> That's in case there's some witnesses. Hey. I'm gonna need you and everybody in here and kiss my whole ass. Whole? Whole. Do I have to say whole? Yes, okay. whole. Listen to me. Okay. Whole is the key to this whole thing. Because okay. you don't want nobody to miss. See, so a lot of people got little lips and they go off to the side. <laughs> hold, hold, okay, now. I'm gonna need, so this is, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need you and everybody in here to kiss my brown ass. Wow. Uh, wow. Uh, wow. Hi, Steve. Hi. So last weekend, me and my girlfriends went out downtown and we had a crazy wild night, so I ended up sleeping over. So the next morning when I went to go get my car, it wasn't there. It got towed. So my mom knows that I was studying all weekend, but I was really out partying with my friends. So oh. I'm a broke college student. I can't afford all those crazy fees. So <laughs> your, your, your mother thought you were studying? Yes. But you were at a party? Correct. And now the car is at the impound, and it's still there. It's still racking up them fees. It's over a few hundred dollars. It's over what? A few hundred dollars. How long has it been down there? It's probably close to a week now. I... <laughs> so how do I tell my mom? Because like I can't tell her the truth, but she kind of needs to know. Kind of? <laughs> <laughs> Whose car is it? My, it's in my parents' name, so th they have to get it. God, dog, man. This, see, this, this one I don't like my kids right here. This, this one I, I can't stand my kids. This, not you, lady. I'm just. This is when I can't stand my damn kids. If you just told her when it happened, we'd probably be at a hundred bucks. Right. She's... You're at three hundred bucks, and it's still there. Mm -hmm. You don't want to tell her the truth. Oh, I guess I should. I feel like that's a good idea. Ta-da! Can you, can you call my mom for me and tell her? Can I call your mom? Please, for yes. <laughs> Let me show you how this will go. Come here, give me a phone. <laughs> you don't want me to call. Let me go. Hello? <laughs> what's your mama's name? Anna. Anna, what's happening? Hey, this is Steve. Steve Harvey, I ain't talking to. I'm just showing you how this'll go. Oh, this okay. why, this, pr this probably why you don't need me to call. <laughs> yeah, Steve. Steve Harvey.
Yes, that's me. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Yeah, that is my voice. Yeah, what's your name, girl? Lily. Hey, your baby down here, uh, Lily. Lily down here. Uh-huh, she had the Steve Harvey show? <laughs> yeah. She's dressed really nice, yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, she's by herself. Yes, ma'am. Well, she's with another lady, too. The lady next to her. She, her, the other lady had to bring her down here. Because <laughs> she ain't had no ride. <laughs> Mel, no, no, no. She don't have a car you gave her no more. <laughs> it got impounded. You remember, remember when last, two weeks ago? It was two weeks ago? Last week. Last week, she was studying. <laughs> up all night. Well, she wasn't studying. She went to a party with one of her girlfriends. <laughs> uh-huh, they were drinking. They got high. Uh-huh. <laughs> Down there. High as hell. I ain't lying to you. Woo! I'm talking about smash. To where she couldn't drive and she spent the night, so then she woke up in a stranger's house and went back to get the car. And the whole damn car was gone. We found your cars down at the lot. Yeah, they impounded it. Yeah, it's been down there about a week now. <laughs> about 350. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, hold on. She said she gonna <laughs> you up. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, Steve. How are you? No, no, I'm fine. So Steve, I have a problem, though. I have anger issues, and I go from zero to 100 real, real quick. I can't stand when I'm talking to someone, they're looking at their phone, I just want to go all across and just snatch them up. All of my friends are like, oh, girls, you're Puerto Rican out of so I'm like, what the hell does that even mean? I don't understand that. What, what does that even mean? I don't get it. So, <laughs> you don't understand. You do not understand. So, I just need help. <laughs> Steve, I need your help. I need your help because I'm afraid that I'm gonna hurt someone. I'm gonna lose a friendship. I'm gonna go to jail. Steve? No, I'm scared of you right now. Why are you scared of me, though? I have anger issues, Steve. I need your help. You shouldn't even have this problem. What's wrong? I don't know, Steve. What's wrong? You beautiful I girl. I might have daddy issues. I don't know. You're, you're young. I don't you're know. You're very young. How old are you? I'm 29. Yeah, you're young. Why are you done? You married? No. Well, that's the part. That's the problem. No, no. <laughs> that that's not the problem. <laughs> you could be married by now. I should be married by now, but my crazy ass boyfriend won't marry me. <laughs> he's crazy. He's on crazy ass boy. <laughs> yes. Won't marry your crazy ass. Exactly. <laughs> Two crazies go together, Steve. That's cause your boyfriend might be crazy, <laughs> but he ain't stupid, though. <laughs> See, let me tell you something. Sweetheart, <laughs> if you backed it down just six notches, okay. skip Wusan and all of that down. Okay. You just a lot. <laughs> okay, answer me this question right here. Have you ever been in love? Yes. Are you in love now? Yes. Are you doing everything in your power to sustain it? Yes. Right. Have you done anything today that you think would be detrimental to that relationship? Yes. <laughs> Did you do anything the prior week to this morning that might be detrimental to the relationship? No. Okay. Two weeks ago, Anything happened that was detrimental to the relationship? I don't want to talk about this, Steve. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't ask for sp sp specifics. I was just saying, did anything happen? You don't have to tell me. Yes. So, every two weeks... <laughs> I'm just based on the pattern. Okay. It's the pattern, there, right. There's an explosion. Get your ass away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you say, <laughs> but that's how it sounds. Louder. Louder. <laughs> he said he, he must be got one. Yeah. That's my crazy ass boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs>
He said, louder. So get a mic up to him. <laughs> My man, stand up. What's up, Steve? Let me ask you a question. This your girl here? Yes, sir. Yeah, you, you love her? Yep. Yeah. What do you wish was different about her? If there was one thing you wish you all had that you don't have? The six notches. It just, it goes zero to 100 real quick. Real quick. Jeez. Oh, anything. I'm talking about like Okay, this is my question, not yours. <laughs> Relax. Don't get crazy. He was just saying it's zero to mm -mm. 60 right fast. Mm -mm. It's not your question. Stand out right now. <laughs> just a bad little something, ain't you? Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on down here. Little bitty little thing, too. You might weigh 108 pounds up here just running your damn mouth. Now turn around. That man up there loves you. You love me? I just, he just said he did. He needs to say it. He gotta say it. He said it. He said it when he stood up. But he needs to say it now when I demand you go. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Hi, Natalie. I've been dating my boyfriend for four years and things are going great, but there's just one problem. Mm -hmm. My dad is always trying to sell me off to other guys everywhere we go. I go and work out with him sometimes and we'll be at the gym and he'll go up to random guys and ask them if they want to take me out on dates. One time we were at the grocery store and <laughs> he goes up to this kid and um, said that he would trade his, the kid's candy bar for me. <laughs> and he also likes to go out to, uh, in the grocery store and go on the PA system and tell people to meet in aisle six if they want to see a beautiful girl. It's getting really embarrassing, and I don't know how to tell my dad and show him that I'm happy in my relationship now, and I don't want him to sell me off to other guys anymore. Yeah, well, you, you might be happy, but he ain't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your daddy don't give a damn about this boy right here. <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> That's your daddy right there? Yeah, this is him. <laughs> Give him the mic, would you? <laughs> so, sir, how long you been trying to get rid of this little <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Since she was about five. Yeah. See, let's just go on me and you man to man. <laughs> you, you, you think he's coming up a little short in some area? He's definitely coming up short. <laughs> yeah. That's why when I see other people, I'm like, you know what? If they can pass my test, I'm, I'm selling her off. Now, Natalie, yeah. listen to me. Okay. You have a father for a reason. Because you know what he is? He is an expert on one thing, manhood. And he knows what to look for. How old is this guy? 21. Oh, yeah, his ass got to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, see, your daddy wants you to just look around a little bit. <laughs> just, you know, just see what's out there before you go in too deep. What's he do for a living? He's a student. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking at your daddy, and I'm looking at that look on his face, and I just don't think this boy gonna make it. <laughs> really, to be honest with you, I'm gonna tell you right now, just me and him, me and him, we, we really think about whooping his ass. <laughs> Keep being a great dad, sir. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Hey, Steve. Okay. So I like to dance, okay. and my husband don't. So every time we go out, the music is playing, and I immediately hit the dance floor. And my husband immediately finds some place to sit down. <laughs> then he tell me, you go ahead and dance. So I'll go dance. But then some guy come and dance with me, then that's a big no-no. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. It's like I can't win for losing. Do I stop dancing, or what kind of way can I find to have him come okay. dance with me? Let, let, let me ask you a question. When you met him, did he dance all the time? No. Okay. <laughs> the, man, the man didn't He didn't dance when you met him. He's not a dancer, but I am. See, did you hear what you said? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need to ask Steve. Hell, we ought to call this segment, You Already Know. <laughs> He's, he, look, the guy's not a dancer, but you are. Mm -hmm. Now, if a guy comes and you start dancing, a guy come up to you, he got a problem with that. Yeah, he like 50 feet. Give her 50 feet. 
Yeah. Because yeah. it happened at a ball we were at one time. Marjorie was out here dancing with her two girlfriends. Here this guy come. Yeah. Yeah. Ease it up. I got right up from my table. I walked right up over there. Hey, partner, let me ask you something. What's happening? Hey, Steve Harvey. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. I'm Marjorie's husband in this instance. Don't even call me Steve Harvey. You, you up too close on my wife, man, and she looking uncomfortable. So I understand that problem. Why don't you, you do you ever go dancing with just your girlfriends? I do. A lot of my girlfriends, we all go dancing and we yeah. have fun, so. Mm -hmm. That's it. You have to dance with your girlfriends. I think he's perfectly right in stopping the other guy, too. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Advice? Can't give no Hi, Steve. Advice. It's okay. No one else can get it either. Um, I'm an ob guy here in Chicago. you what? ob guy OB-GYN. I deliver babies. <laughs> True story. I was on the radio in 2000 in L.A. My co-host, Shirley Strawberry, slipped me a note. The lady was in there. She was a doctor. She was OBGYN, but I wasn't really familiar. I didn't really never paid attention to it. So I said, so you're an obigen. <laughs> <laughs> that lady <laughs> turned to me and said, excuse me? I said, it says right here, you're an obigen. <laughs> My co-host, Shirley Strawberry, was on the floor laughing. <laughs> she couldn't breathe. I, of course, didn't even know what the hell what was funny. Because I said, did I mispronounce it? She said, no, you shouldn't have pronounced it at all. <laughs> so that's what I, that's my experience. So you're an OBGYN. An OBGYN. OK, well, go ahead. I can though. deliver babies, though. Well, been, that's I've, more than most of us can do. So I've been delivering babies for 20 years. OK. Nowadays, women want to have a natural birth, so no pain medicine. My problem is these men who don't want their wives to have pain medicine and their epidurals. So these women are screaming in pain, they want their epidural, and the husbands will tell me, we don't want an epidural. We don't want any pain medicine. And I said, well, we are gonna ask your wife <laughs> what she yeah, wants. Really. So Steve, what do I do to help these women so I don't step on these men's toes? Help the women, damn them men. Look, we don't... <laughs> we... What the hell you mean, we don't want no pain <laughs> Eh, well, we ain't having the damn baby. We ass is hurting right now. <laughs> see, that's what I say. But see, because it's crazy, because when my twins were born, Carly and Brandy, I was in the delivery room. And I got to tell you something, man. I was screaming. I was... <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I took an epidural. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, I was I was standing in the delivery room nice. I didn't care what happened to that. I I was in some pain, man. I I think you should do whatever it is that the woman wants to do. We don't carry babies. It ain't our, it ain't our choice. All right, thank you. That's what I do.